What is happening all you sexy YouTube warriors out there, Range Day Bro, back at it again. And today, we're gonna be talking war belts and plate carriers, more specifically, the HRT Tactical Gear Arc Belt that you see right here, as well as their Hydromax back placard for the RAC plate carrier. Let's get into it. All right, guys, if you're anything like me and you've put on your plate carrier, your war belt, and LARPed around the house just to get used to it and get the feel for it, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button, guys. I actually, as stupid as that sounds, do that pretty often. I do train with my gear, believe it or not. I get to put these things on, take them to classes, and train with them and use them in the field. That's the best case use scenario, but not all of us can always go out there and spend thousands of dollars on ammo or courses. So it does help to wear your plate carrier around the house, sling up your gun, put it under a war belt, and just wear it around if you're ever working from home or just cooking or whatever. Get a feel for it, see what works, what doesn't work, if there's any hot spots, and then I'll give you guys some advice and some, some knowledge on how to adjust your kit accordingly, according to your body, your shape, your size, and your strength. It'll also help you build up the strength to wear your plate carrier for several hours at a time at an all-day course. It's like when I used to play football back in the day. You gotta put your helmet on in the weeks leading up to practicing with your helmets. That way your neck's not just like a wet noodle when you get out there on day one and start hitting people. So go ahead and be a warrior in your own home. Who cares what your wife thinks? She'll always love you either way, right? Or your mom, whoever it is, whoever the woman of your dreams is in your life. All right guys, so real quick before we get into the plate carrier and the war belt you see right here, I wanted to just mention that the Range Day Bro shirts are live at rangedaybro.com. If it's not in stock, it'll say unavailable and when it comes back in stock, you guys will be able to order it. And so yeah, big shout out to all you sexy YouTube warriors. If you guys want to support the channel, go on over there and grab a Scar Heavy Tropical shirt. Thank you very much for supporting me. It means a lot, guys. Appreciate you. All right, so before we start talking about HRT Tactical Gear, what is my relationship with them? Well, it's a good relationship, I would say. It's a working relationship. They did send me this belt for review, as well as the Hydromax back placard. However, a long time before they ever knew who I was, I used HRT gear. Thanks to John at Warrior Pro Society, he shouted out the RAC plate carrier, and that was the reason I really got turned on and found out about HRT Tactical through a YouTuber that I trusted. So, like many of you guys here, you're here for advice on how to spend your money. You want to spend your money wisely, so totally get that. But they did send me this belt. It will not affect my review. I'll be telling you guys a few of the negatives that I see in this belt and the plate carrier setup. But for the most part, it's very uh, positive because of that's my actual experience with using the product has nothing to do with them sending it to me. They understand I'm gonna give an unbiased review. So with that being said, let's jump right into it. All right, so HRT's motto is mission adaptable gear. So you see that in everything they produce and I really appreciate them continuing to innovate. Um, I've had this plate carrier for several years now. I've run it in multiple courses. And once again, mission adaptable, what does that really mean? Well, here in the front, we have the Maximus placard, as you guys can tell. And this guy is completely removable via these two clips up top. So if I just unclip these two clips, it is Velcroed into place and the guy pulls right off. So I can remove this placard and now I'm left with a clean, slick front plate here. So if I wanted to run a streamline, if I'm gonna be doing a lot of prone shooting or anything like that, I can remove this and uh, depending on the mission once again. But I really like this because it comes with three magazine pouches uh, right here in the back and then also two uh, multi-use purpose um, pouches up front. Uh, one, I keep a multi-tool, my lens cleaning tool, um, some paperwork, just some random stuff in this other pouch here. But this is what it means when they're talking about mission adaptable gear. So you can actually, there's many placards you can purchase that actually go right here in the front. There's a slick panel that just runs three mag pouches. There's all kinds of different ones. I'll roll here in on the screen so you guys can see the different options that they have. But I bought this day one and I always love this Maximus placard. It's, it's done me well, it's never failed me. And it's, for me, it's the perfect setup for a multi-use placard. So. I also have the cummerbund here that I've upgraded. Really great cummerbund, comes in, straps around you like so on both sides, and then you just drop this guy down and the Velcro singes it all together and keeps you nice and compact. So that's what she looks like from the front. And we've done a whole video review on this, guys. Not much has changed besides the back placard, which we'll be getting a little bit more detail on with the plate carrier. But I'll just touch on a few of the big selling points that I believe for the rack plate carrier. We already talked about the removable and interchangeable placards. There's also, I forgot to mention, two magazine pouches on both sides right here that'll fit any double stack nine millimeter magazines. Another cool thing about the HRT is it has these Velcro straps here over on the shoulders to help you with any kind of calm control. Here we have the source uh, hydro bladder, the, the straw for the bladder, whatever you want to call this, the tube for it coming around. 
Now, this is a bit long for my setup, so I'm gonna try to see if Source sells a cheaper one or a shorter one, rather. We'll see if they have that or not, but that's something you learn as you go and you train with your stuff, guys. But it is really nice that the rack plate carrier has these little Velcro straps on both sides. So if you're running a radio, you can run your comms, or if you're running a hydration pack, you can do that as well. So now we're looking at the back of the carrier. This is their Hydro Max flat pack. So it's kind of the best of all worlds, in my opinion. I think this is gonna give you the ability to obviously, A, run a hydration bladder, which you see right here. This is the Source three liter um, bladder. So this holds three liters of water or Kool-Aid or whatever your fluid of choosing is. And it fits just snugly right in here. You gotta fold the top down to get it to, to completely go inside the bag. But it's really nice, guys. Just remember, whatever, however big of a hydro bladder you're putting back here, it's that much weight you're adding. Now you can put the three liter in here. You don't have to fill it up all the way, obviously. But it is adding weight to the back of your carrier, which depending on your plates is already gonna be kind of heavy. So just keep that in mind. So it's a giant open pouch right here. So it's a big open compartment where the hydration bladder goes in. It has a nice sleeve for the bladder itself, but there's also extra room in here for whatever you might wanna put. There's some Velcro arms in here, if you guys can see that, to strap something in. Um, use your imagination, but you guys have probably better ideas of what you'd like to see in here than I do. Right now, I don't have anything in it because I just got it not too long ago, and I've been running it at some courses. Really, the main function for me was to hold my bla the bladder. Now, I am planning on opening up these two pouches right here. We have some extra storage space in the back as well. There's Velcro lining on the inside of both of these pockets, this big pocket up here. Also, Velcro on the outside as well. And the same thing goes down here. You have an even bigger pouch now on the bottom. And... This guy also has the gafferding that the front two pouches have, which is really cool. Velcro on both sides, front and back, and just another big pouch. This is probably where I'd probably keep something like a smaller medical, like a quick uh, medical pouch in here. Maybe some miscellaneous items, depending on what we're gonna be doing. If we're gonna be camping, if we're gonna be roaming through the mountains versus a, a tactical course or, or a shoot house or some CQB type situation, I may not have this placard at all. So that brings me to how does it attach? Once again, mission adaptable gear. So because HRT is focused on, on that exactly, you can easily take this off. There's two zippers at the top and there are two zippers at the bottom here. And once you undo all these zippers, then secured by Molly as well as the zippers, but I'm not gonna take all that off for you guys, but you can see once you remove this, it's just a slick back just like the front was. So it's really cool. They all have all kind of different back placards as well as we talked about for the front placards. So it's a really cool system to be able to quickly and easily uh, change this out depending on the mission and adapt your gear to your mission. That's gonna wrap it up for the Hydromax placard and for the plate carrier for right now. Now let's get back to the war belt. All right guys, so that brings me to the war belt. I like that HRT didn't just copy the existing designs on the market. They really innovated and decided to go their own way in designing this belt. So the inner belt, there's not much to it. It's just an inner belt. Now it's obviously got the Velcro all over it. This goes through your belt loops on your pants and it has a G hook down here to hook it up. As you guys can see, it's a very simple design. It does have this Velcro latch here. So I have the large and it has this big Velcro strap so you guys can adjust the amount of give in your G hook that you need, uh, but it's Velcroed on both sides so you don't have to worry about um, you know, making those adjustments, you're good to go. So I keep mine right about there and I'm about a 38 waist. So that's how the inner belt looks. I have it in the green, obviously, but there's not much to really tell about the inner belt. But when we get to the outer belt, this is where the innovation really comes in. All right, so that brings me to the outer belt and you guys might immediately uh, see something a little bit different about this belt than any other belt on the market today. That is due to the woven polymer core that you see right here. It is called a woven polymer tigris core. Um, not really sure uh, the science behind that or, or what it is, but all I know is that it is pretty freaking sturdy. It is pretty rigid. Now I have it packed down, but when I'm holding it by both sides, you know, you see it's not slumping down at all. It's a very rigid belt, but it is also extremely lightweight. The way they designed this thing was to keep it as lightweight, as minimalistic as possible, and they really knocked it out of the park in my opinion. Because of this design, there's a couple really distinct advantages, and there's just like one or two disadvantages in my opinion about this design. So obviously the most distinct advantage is how lightweight and streamlined and thin it is. Um, it just it kind of blows my mind how thin this thing is, really is, and how light it is. Clearly the, the biggest advantage in my opinion, and one of the biggest disadvantages in my opinion, is the setup time it takes to get it to uh, just right. So it has another advantage. The sizing is, is wildly adjustable, and because of that, 
it takes you just a little bit more time, in my opinion, to figure out um, you know, exactly where I wanted this. It took some playing around with going to the range and figuring out exactly how I wanted to position this. But the sleeves have two little ears that index on these little holes that you see back here. And that's how you adjust the sleeves forward and backward. And then any excess you have of, of the belt that you see right here of the two ends, they kind of just go into each other like so. They just disappear right into each other. They're so thin and um, so you have no issues there. The Cobra buckle that you see right here is an upgrade. Um, once again, getting a little ahead of myself with the pros and cons, but um, this guy came with a G hook for this outer belt. And in my opinion, it, for a big guy like myself, it was just, it, the Cobra buckle is kind of a necessity. I say kind of because it's not really a necessity. The G buckle worked for me. It just took me, uh, the G hook rather, it just took me way too long uh, on the range, sweating with my carrier on to try to find it underneath my big belly and hook it up. So it just made life way easier whenever I went to the Cobra buckle. So I would consider that a worthwhile upgrade. I wish it would just come out of the box like that, but I get why HRT didn't include that. It's to keep costs down. And if, uh, if you're one of those guys who's been saving up for a while for a war belt, then you could buy it, get in the game with the G hook, and then eventually you can upgrade for 25 bucks or something like that to the Cobra buckle. It's a worthwhile upgrade in my opinion. And so once again, getting ahead of myself here, but let's just talk a little bit more about the pros and what it was like to shoot. So as I mentioned, this belt is so light and so slim that I hardly notice it when it's on, even with loaded mags, it's just, you just feel where the mags are at. You don't really even feel the weight of the belt. So that's, that's super cool. I love what they did with this design. And one of the biggest pros to me is that when you weave in your Molly attachments, you're actually weaving it through the core of the belt, which makes it even stronger in my opinion. Some other belts that I've used in the past, they just have some stitching and a couple Molly, um, couple pieces of fabric just stitched onto the outside of the belt. And that's what's actually holding all the weight of your attachments and your mag pouches. Whereas on this belt, you actually have it going through the core of the woven polymer, which is extremely rigid. And it gives me just a, a better feeling about the mounting solution. So another cool thing they did to keep weight down, they use the Molly attachments, whatever you call these, the mounting mechanisms for the Molly is the same woven polymer tigris uh, material. They're super lightweight. They do also have one that is angled for your mag pouch. If you like to have your mag pouch angled forward a little bit, um, they do include one of these guys for angling your pistol mag pouch, which is pretty cool as well. All right, guys, let's talk about pros and cons. Obviously the biggest pro being the weight and how slim lined it is. I guess one of the cons with that, with having the weight being so slim and, and so lightweight is that it takes a little bit more time to set up just due to the nature of how the belt is. Once again, I applaud HRT for innovating and kind of thinking outside the box and, and doing something that's kind of radical. And I mean, I think it'll be received well because once people get, get a hold of this belt and feel the fit and finish and the quality of it, they're really gonna love it just like I did. I was kind of uh, skeptical at first, but uh, I've become a believer after actually running it. It's a great advantage to have such uh, adaptability in the size, so you don't have to worry so much about ordering the right size and that whole debacle when you're ordering belts. I think that the woven polymer core is the biggest advantage. Obviously, it gives it that slim line, it gives it that lightweight, it gives it that durability, but I also love that when you're threading your pouches, your accessories on, it's going right through that woven core, so you have extra rigidity. You're not gonna, you know, pull a pouch off on accident, tear any kind of stitching. It's just, it's going right through the core itself. So that's gonna give it that added durability that I really like. And the last pro I'll mention is it just looks awesome. It's a, one of the coolest looking, it almost looks like carbon fiber, uh, the way it's woven this polymer core. It's just super slim lined and, and wearing it is, is very comfortable. Like I said, it disappears on your waist. It doesn't feel like it's hardly even there. So let's talk about a few of the cons guys. And once again, uh, the cons are, you know, you, there's no such thing as a free lunch. So when you're going with, a new design, so lightweight, so innovative. I mean, there's some things you gotta sacrifice. And one of those things, in my opinion, is the setup time. Like I mentioned, I know I'm beating a dead horse. It doesn't take too much time once you get to know how to set it up. It's just different than any other belt that I've ever used. So there was a little bit of a learning curve there. And then the last one I've already touched on, guys, since uh, my days of playing football, I always like to cinch my belts really tight. And so with the G hook on the outer belt, it was just kind of a pain to get it to hook on, especially when I'm wearing my plate carrier. However, that's a creature comfort, guys. That's not something that I would say is gonna make or break the belt. One last thing I will also mention that's featured on this belt are HRT's mag pouches. These things absolutely, they absolutely won me over. I love these things. They retain their shape when you remove a magazine, and so re-indexing is really easy. They also have little flared lips at the top, so it makes re-indexing very easy. And that just absolutely won me over. I love these mag pouches. They're super slick, just like the war belt. And I just, I love the way they look and they perform very well. And the same, same with the pistol pouches, same flare, they retain their shape. And so here we have a Glock 17, double stack nine mil mag, 
works very easily. If simply, if you're gonna get the belt, I'd recommend the pouches as well. If you don't have some already, they're really good quality and I just like how slim and sleek the whole setup is. If you're jumping in and out of a vehicle, this type of sleek setup is gonna be probably best for that. So you're not getting caught on anything. There's nothing hanging off. It's just very slim line sleek. It's very futuristic looking and feeling to me. All right guys, to summarize, I really love the HRT Arc belt and the Hydromax back placard. Everything that they've put out up to this point that I've had my hands on has impressed me. I think they put a lot of thought and effort into putting out quality products by talking to individuals who are in the law enforcement, military, and civilian shooting communities and figuring out what people want. I think they hit it out of the park with this thing. It's the first of its kind that I know of, and I'm really impressed with it, and I will continue to use it moving forward. As always, guys, thank you so much for staying to the end of the video. It means a lot to me. If it's your first time here, please like, comment, and subscribe. If it's your second or third time here, or more so, then even more of a reason for you guys to click the subscribe button we're always doing reviews and stuff like that like this on the channel but as always guys I just wanted to reiterate that I appreciate all you guys out there performing your duties as Americans to train to protect your family your friends your loved ones in our country if the day ever does so come thank you very much stay safe stay dangerous range day bro out